What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So yesterday we talked about how so many fans are really upset that Drew McIntyre did not win the World Heavyweight Championship in front of his home crowd in uh Scotland, Glasgow, Scotland at Clash at the Castle. They were upset that CM Punk once again screwed them over. And you know, some people were saying some really wild stuff on social media to the point where I felt like it people were taking it a little bit too far but for those who have a rational thinking brain and can understand storytelling um there are well there is a situation where this makes sense and this is the most logical path to go about this the drew crash out tour is going to be better than him actually winning the championship at this present moment only because we're watching the, the 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 i guess the ascension of his mental state the fact that he's been feuding with cm punk been talking trash about cm punk essentially cost cm punk his main event match at this uh this year's past wrestlemania of course cm punk is going to do whatever he can to screw over drew time and time again the writings were on the wall CM Punk wasn't saying much of nothing. And Drew still kept making his jokes, taking his shots. So you knew if you've been watching wrestling as long as I have, there's no way you didn't think he was going to win. Now, there's a possibility he could have, but there's no way you didn't think CM Punk was going to get involved. It was reported that he was going to be there. He was there at in, uh, in Scotland. So why wouldn't he be involved? But that's neither here nor there. What I really want to talk about and expound upon why this is a good decision is, like I said, the Drew Crash Out Tour is a must because we're going to see this guy go unhinged. Hell, he was unhinged at the end of the show. He was losing his mind, and that's the better story because CM Punk is once again screwed him over. Now, the reason why I say this is also potentially something good down the line and it may even enhance this feud even more, apparently WWE is in the talks of bringing back the iconic pay-per-view Bad Blood. And this, to me, would make a lot more sense on why Drew doesn't need to be the champion because this feud right now between Drew and CM Punk is going to ultimately end, in my opinion, potentially in a hell in a cell. This feud may end in a hell in a cell and i hope it does end in a hell in a cell let me pull up this article so y'all can see exactly what i'm talking about here uh, make myself a little bit smaller uh wwe bad blood pay-per-view event could be returning there are strong indications that wwe is considering re resurrecting the bad blood pay-per-view event for an upcoming special presentation originally introduced during the attitude era bad blood game prominence and was notably uh, notably revived in 2003 and 04 featuring an iconic hell in a cell match involving top wwe superstars like triple h kevin nash Shawn michaels and mick foley recent reports from pw uh pw insider suggest that creative pitches have been made to re revive bad blood name possibly aligning in october slot the timing would uh, commemorate the anniversary of the first ever Hell in the Cell match in WWE history, which took place on October 5th, 97, between The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, about that also saw the chilling debut of the Kane character. Moreover, October 5th, 2024 falls on a Saturday, making it a fitting day for WWE's potential theme uh, event, especially considering WWE's partnership with Peacock for streaming. Here's a glimpse of WWE's current pay-per-view schedule. So we got Clash of the Castle already done. Then we got July 6th, Money in the Bank. Then we got uh, July 7th, NXT, uh, Heat Wave. Uh, Heat Wave, uh, PLE. Then we got August 3rd, SummerSlam. We got August 31st, Bash in Berlin. And then they don't have nothing in October, November, WWE Crown Jewel. And then um, they kind of skip over all the way to next year, WrestleMania um, for April 19th and 20th, um, WrestleMania 41. So honestly, it makes sense. It does. It makes sense. 
This is why I say the crash out tour begins here. Because guess what? If they're bringing back bad blood, which I'm all for, the timing of it makes sense. The the significance of what makes sense. Drew, CM Punk, bad, they definitely have bad blood with each other. I think the blow off feud match should be a hell in a cell. Simple as that. Extend this. They can have a match at SummerSlam, and I have Drew win, but I did, I even have Drew cheat. I have Drew cheat. It makes sense. Have Drew win, have him cheat. I can you can do that at SummerSlam. Um, then at Bash in Berlin, you can have a situation where CM Punk gets to win over there. But Drew's not over. He he's he's he can't live with the fact that he lost. So you can have a situation be set up, and then at Bad Blood, if they do have that, which would be in October, then you can set up a Hell in a Cell, considering it'll be the anniversary of the first ever Hell in a Cell. You can do that. It writes itself, and their last match should be a Hell in a Cell match at Bad Blood. This is why he doesn't need the title, because having the title confuses things. And we all know Gunther's going to win it at SummerSlam. So there's no point in putting the title on him. This is why I say patience is key. I would much rather these guys, finally they can wrestle, have a three pay-per-view or PLE feud. I would give Drew the win at SummerSlam. I would give CM Punk the win at Bash in Berlin. And then the last match, you can decide who you want to get the win there. Most likely it will probably be CM Punk. It's a hell in a cell. Go from there. Simple. And let them use blood, which I know they will. It's the name of the damn PLE, Bad Blood. And and you can put on some extra matches on that card. You can do a Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan there. Because you know it's not going to end at SummerSlam. You know Rhea Ripley, even whenever she comes back, she's not beating Liv off Rip, which may be SummerSlam. So you can do that. There's fuse that are starting to pick up that could get potentially you know, fit the bad blood theme. It's getting personal. That's all I'm saying. That's why I say it's better if this is true and bad blood is coming back, the Drew McIntyre crash out tour is way more important and is going to lead to better stories and potentially some really great matches between him and CM Punk culminating at bad blood. Because we know Drew's going to be He's just going to lose his mind. He's going to lose his mind. And he's going to be erratic and irrational. And that's what you want. And CM Punk is going to be the guy that he's like, I don't really give a damn. I told you this was going to happen. You kept talking your trash. So now I'm going to make you, I'm going to make your life a living hell. This is what you want. A crashing out Drew is great for television. A Drew that's a champion, that's cool too. But you're missing on a really good story that they have here. So I personally am looking forward to this. I hope this happens. This will be very poetic. And it will be nice to have a, a, a Hell in a Cell where this feud actually does warrant it. Because I know they're going to try to kill each other. And that's what we want. It's always good to have a feud in a wrestling company that doesn't involve the championship. Because the championship can be involved in something else. But sometimes there are people that just don't like each other so much that they want to destroy each other. Those sometimes are the best feuds because they don't involve the championship. It's not about prestige. It's about hurting your opponent. Those be the best type of feuds. It reminds me one of my favorite feuds, Triple H versus HBK. That feud was so great. So good, if y'all remember, so many great matches, and it culminated at a hell in a cell because they were crashing out, and that's what you wanted. So, comment down below, let me know, would you guys be excited and interested in seeing uh, maybe three matches between Drew McIntyre and CM Punk, and the last match between them in this feud culminating at Bad Blood and the hell in a cell. Let me know if that excites you. Let me know if y'all are one of the few individuals that are okay with Drew 
uh, losing at Clash at the Castle. And also let me know if you're ready for the Drew McIntyre crash out tour. Because I know I am. But I appreciate all the love and support y'all shown on the channel. Road to 50k. And I'm seeing you on the speed of YouTube. Wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.